Hi, it's Amy Farote. <laughs> Such a great intro. Anyway, today's a lot better than yesterday. Well, yesterday was wonderful, actually. It was just emotional. Um, <clears throat> what is today? Monday. Well, no, I, it's actually Tuesday. I have an appointment. It's like 2 a.m. or something like that. I have an appointment at 7 fucking a.m. with my pain management doctor. <laughs> That's what you get for canceling an appointment. Because when you can reschedule, it's madness. But, um, oh my God, I just got on here and now I forget what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, I was thinking about my mom. And I don't mean to be a downer, but I just realized that I'll never get a mama hug again. You know, my mom was always the best at, like, totally snoogling you. You know, snoogling is a word that I just created. You know, I would, you know, 50 years old, I was laying in her lap. You know what I mean? You know. And, you know, she's been in the nursing home now a little over a year. And I haven't had a real mom hug, though, in probably three years. Because, you know, she was getting weaker and, you know, mom used to scratch everyone's back. Um, you know, the my nieces used to lay there and my mom would, like, lightly have to <laughs> scratch their backs forever. They were such crazy girls. But, uh, you know, I just realized I'll never have a mama hug again. And I don't really feel sad about it. I mean, I do. But I feel happy that I had that, you know? I mean, I was in high school, and I was, there are pictures. I'm sitting in my mom's lap, you know? I mean, we had that kind of love, and mom was always there for you. If you needed love and kisses and hugs, you got it. And so I just feel really happy about that, you know? I mean... It's sad, but I'm also really happy about it. But anyway, I'm sitting here watching 90 Day Fiance Pillow Talk. Um, sometimes I won't even watch the show. I'll just wait for the pillow talk because I like the people better. But um, I just feel like uh, I've been blessed. I've had a really wonderful time with my parents. My dad passed away in December 2000 seven and you know that was tragic and horrifying and my mom you know I hope she lives forever so I have a chance to take care of her I it's my dream that I can afford to have both mom and Sarah home and afford the help I need to care for them because I physically can't but that I can go and hold my mom like she held me. That's my dream, you know, and um, I love her so much. I miss her, but I feel happy. I mean, tomorrow I might be devastated. Who knows? But right now I feel happy. And I'm really excited because I have a Butterfinger in the freezer. Butterfinger candy bar. So excited. I know that's not the diet, but I cheated with cigs. Okay, those are done. And so I figured I owe myself a cheat with a candy bar. God, everybody's like, what a fucking loser. But I heard a rumor like people can't say fuck on YouTube. And that would just be devastating to me because I would have to bleep almost every single fucking word I say. But I'm going to color my hair and I'm going to do laundry so I have something to wear to my God forsaken early doctor appointment. But we had a really bad storm come through and I guess we had a tornado warning and everything and I slept through it. I passed out after I ate some hot and sour soup. It made me feel kind of sick and a friend of mine, Tara, said it might be the MSG, which I'm thinking that might be it because... I, it never used to bother me, but I felt sick, and so I fell asleep. I heard a crash at one point. It sounded like something breaking, and I looked at Peaches, and I go, what was that? And Peaches looks at me like, 
You got me? But, um, you know, I don't know what it was. I looked all around the house. I can't find... The only thing I can think is there... I have animals in the attic again. <coughs> Raccoons. But I don't know. I'm hoping not. I haven't heard anything except that. I'm just thinking that it could have been lightning, you know, thunder. And it sounded like a crash in my sleep. But I went right back to sleep and slept entirely through it. I had no... But it's like when I woke up. Uh, so many people, Katie, and people, uh, Melissa checked on me to make sure I was okay because they heard about the storm. But anyway, this is a short one. I just wanted to say hi and that I'm still working on it. Power to the people. Anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. We're all connected. I love you.